Alexander Ovechkin is regarded as one of, if not the greatest goal scorers in NHL history. And in my opinion, he is the greatest. I mean, he was consistently scoring 50 goal seasons in what was considered a pretty low scoring era in comparison to today's NHL. Even if you don't think he's the best of all time, you can at least say that he's the greatest goal scorer in the modern era until Matthews takes his spot. But nonetheless, Ovechkin has established himself as one of the greatest pure goal scorers of all time. And as he closes in on Wayne Gretzky's goal record, he's really cementing himself in that conversation. Ovechkin exploded into the NHL, starting his career with five straight 45 goal seasons, four of which where he scored 50 plus and had 100 plus points, highlighted mainly by his 65 goal season where he recorded 112 points. And the young Ovi was truly a sight to behold. Electrifying is really the only way to describe it. He was a mix of power, speed, and skill, and nowadays he shows glimpses of his true skill and speed, but really not like he used to. He would easily maneuver around everyone on the ice, putting the puck on a string through the defender's legs, through his own legs, and he could do whatever he wanted with the puck. It was otherworldly. Flash forward to today, and his role has changed a bit. He has less of a skillful effect on the game, but still provides the same impact, scoring 35 plus goals a season. Throughout his career, Ovechkin has been a pure force. He is 6 foot 3, 230 pounds, and uses it to his advantage. Ovi's one of the few pure goal scorers in the NHL that threw his weight around. He would blow you up and then rip a shot past your goalie, which is nothing like we've seen in a while, at least not the way Ovechkin did it. Through his 1400 plus career games, Ovi has more than 1500 points, and he has 848 goals and counting. He's won 9 Murray's Richard trophies and 3 Hart trophies, and he currently sits a little over 40 goals away from surpassing Wayne Gretzky's goal record of 894, which was thought to be unbreakable up until a few years ago when the conversation became when and not if Ovechkin breaks that record. Ovechkin has scored these 800 plus goals in every way possible, on breakaways, net front scrambles, from his knees, from his back, and even empty nets, which he holds the NHL record for the most at 57. But Ovechkin scored this type of goal so much that the spot he scored it from is titled Ovi's office. He scored it so many times that ice rinks started to mark the ice in acknowledgement of it, and that shot was the left circle one-timer. The left circle one-timer, or more widely regarded as Ovi's office, is probably one of the most famous shots in all of hockey. This shot helped Ovechkin score more than 35% of his goals on the power play, giving him the most power play goals in history. Ovechkin is so used to that left side one-timer that he even pulled it out in a professional soccer game when he signed a one-day contract with his hometown club, Dynamo Moscow. Players expect that one-timer to come so much that Ovechkin can actually use it to his advantage to make a better play. Take this play for example. As Backstrom feeds the puck to Ovi, he winds up like any other one of his one-timers. This makes the defense try and block the shot, and the goalie slide way out of position, trying to make a save. Now instead of firing this one-timer, Ovi passes the puck to Matt Niskanen for a sure goal. But why do players fear that shot so much? Because it's effective. Now, there are multiple reasons why the shot is so effective, even though everyone on the ice knows it's coming. For one, Ovechkin tries to put the puck through the net. Not in the net, through it. He shoots the puck so hard that it just beats the goalie clean, and he's one of the few shooters in the league that can do that. It doesn't really matter where on the net he shoots, it just seems to go in. Another reason why this shot is so successful is because of his teammates. His teammates consistently look for Ovi in his office and try to set him up as much as they can. And now, you may ask the question, if the defense knows Ovi is getting the puck, why don't they just stick a guy on him? Well, if they just put a guy on Ovi on the power play, then it's essentially a 4v3 in the other 75% of the zone, and that's even harder to defend against. And for the longest time, the Capitals power play consisted of John Carlson, who's an awesome puck moving defenseman, Evgeny Kuznetsov, who is an elite shot to himself, TJ Oshie, who sits in the high slot for a one-timer, and Nicholas Backstrom, who is widely regarded as one of the best playmakers of all time. 
So if Ovi is covered, then the Capitals have four other elite offensive players to rely on. And this is the main reason why the Capitals have had the best power play percentage over the past 15 seasons at 22%. Now, Ovechkin, like I said, has scored this goal so much that it's trademarked. But hockey fans have taken this too far. There are some brain-dead fans out there who think Ovechkin is just a power play merchant, or he doesn't score any other goal except that one-timer, and that's just a crazy take. I'll go as far to say that Ovechkin has one of the best arsenals in hockey. He can score however he wants, thanks to his physicality, his shot, and his hands. I like to think of Ovi as a Swiss army knife. He can do just about anything. He even claims that he can play goalie if the Capitals ever needed. So, I'll say it again and again. Ovi is much more than just his one-timer, and I'm gonna prove it to you, statistically. On your screen right now is the heat map of every single goal Ovechkin has scored since 2010. And I'm going to break down each year and show you exactly how Ovechkin was scoring his goals. As you can see here in 2010, Ovechkin was scoring most of his goals from above the top of the circles and in the slot, which is nothing surprising, as for a sniper in the NHL, this is where most of them score their goals. There's also not much bias to what side Ovi preferred, and the map looks pretty symmetrical. Moving into 2011, you can see Ovi scoring a lot from the right side of the ice, actually, and not his typical left side. 2012 is the same thing, a lot of Ovi's goals coming from the right side of the ice. And you can see this pattern happen up until 2015, where you see a slight move to the left circle. 2016 is where you can really see it. There's lots of goals coming from that left side, where he scored 31% of his goals in that circle, compared to 29% on the right side. And 2017 seems to be the full switch to that left side circle. I mean, look how populated that side is. Now, this map may look like it's right side dominant, but he actually scored 36% of his goals from the left, compared to just 11% on the right. And this trend followed Ovi up until today, where he's scoring about 30% of his goals from that left side of the ice. So, what conclusions can we draw from these maps? Well, we can see that Ovechkin scores from a whole bunch of places, and that switch to his office is really only a recent occurrence. And going back to that map of all his goals since 2010, we can really see how dangerous Ovechkin is. And it may come as a surprise for a lot of you, but it seemed as though Ovechkin actually preferred that right side of the ice, instead of his trademarked left shot. So, I don't want to hear any more disrespect on Ovi's name. No more saying he's a power play merchant or a one-trick pony. We're talking about one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. And in my eyes, he is the greatest goal scorer of all time. Even if he can only score from one spot. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe, as only 2% of my viewers are actually subscribed to me, and if you are subscribed and want to still support me, you can consider becoming a member of the channel where you get access to special perks and behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for watching.